Hey guys, welcome to English class for today, or history class, or history and English together, whatever you want to call it. We're talking about two very important things today. We're going to be doing our spelling list, so make sure you get out your spelling list, and then you need to get out your spread of Christianity map, okay? Your spread of Christianity map, okay? We're going to go through that today. There should be two pieces of paper here. It should be the instructions and then the map, okay? You also need, besides your pencil, these are the colors that you need. Let me see where they are. I think it's, oh, I got it right here. Purple, green, gray, and red. Okay, you need those colors. Purple, green, gray, and red, okay? If you have different colors, okay, you're going to have to make your key a little bit differently. It's going to be a little confusing, but those are the best colors to have, okay? So the very first thing we're going to do today is your spelling list and then focus in on our cool history lesson today, okay? You're going to learn a lot today in history class. Here we go. Let's say, spell, say these words, and then I'll pick out a few to teach you what they mean, okay? Rash. R-A-S-H. Rash. Rain, R-A-I-N, rain. Chat, C-H-A-T, chat. Main, M-A-I-N, main. Black, B-L-A-C-K, black. Pain, P-A-I-N, pain. Track, T-R-A-C-K, track. Tail, T-A-I-L, tail, camp, C-A-M-P, camp, brain, B-R-A-I-N, brain, flash, F-L-A-S-H, flash, pale, P-A-I-L, pale, grand, G-R-A-N-D, grand, faint, F-A-I-N-T, faint, brand, B-R-A-N-D, brand, paint, P-A-I-N-T, paint, splash, S-P-L-A-S-H, splash, chain, C-H-A-I-N, chain. Are you seeing what, um, what you're doing this week? You're learning, I mean, you're reviewing some short vowel A sounds, a, a, apple, right? But you're also learning that if you wanna say A, look at the word rain. You don't always have to, you don't always have to have an E at the end to make the A sound, okay? It's not R-A-N-E, rain. You can also have A-I. A-I is a blend that works together to make the A sound because there's two vowels in the word. The first one says its name and the second one is short, right? So. A, 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 corn, and the I is completely, the second one is silent, not short, right now. And the second one is completely silent. The I doesn't say anything. It just helps the A say its name. Okay, so look at your paper. Look at your paper. Here's what I want you to do first. I want you to circle all the words that have the A sound, A with the A, I. Circle all the words that have the A sound. So there should be how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine words that have the A sound. The other ones have the A ah sound. Okay, you're gonna copy your words today. So what are some of the words? Well, we know what rain is. Chat, well, if you know about what's up, you might say that it's in my chat. Chat is when you talk with somebody, okay? Hey, let's chat. That means like, let's talk. Main is principal, like the main street, the main idea, okay? We know what black is. Pain. Do you guys know what that is? Dolor. Oh, it shows good. Okay, my hand has pain in it. Okay, I have a pain in my stomach. That's pain. Look at the word tail. You guys know what that is, right? Cola. Camp is like campamento. Brain. Everyone knows what brain is, right? Cerebro. Let's see another word. Faint. That's a good one. Faint means desmayar. Uh-oh, she's going to faint. Right? What is brand? Anybody know? Marca. Okay, so if anybody likes the brand Nike, that's the Marca Nike, right? Brand. 
paint, we know what paint is. Splash is the noise you make if you jump in water. Or if you throw water, if you jump into it, yeah, splash. And chain is cadena. Okay, so those are some of the words that we are going to be spelling this week. Okay, let's get into the spread of Christianity. Here's why I wanted to do this this week, guys. Spread means when... um. When something starts here and it goes out and out and out and out and out and out, it spreads. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Like if you spill water on the floor and then you just watch it spread. It goes all over the place, right? Okay, that's what the word spread is. Here's the thing with the Roman Empire. We've been studying it about how it was a, a great nation for architecture, for math with, with its numbers, it's giving us our months of the year, right? Um, it was a powerful, powerful nation, okay, which means it had a huge army. It conquered a lot of the world at that time, right? So it had very powerful emperors, had many different accomplishments, right? Good food and everything like that. But the Romans were not always nice people. The Romans were not even close to nice people people okay they would go into towns they would take people's houses take people's animals everything for the emperor right and they especially hated christianity okay they might have hated it because at one time you can see it from maybe movies that you watched about the, the death of jesus christ that the romans didn't like it that there was a felt that they pass inside the community so since the Israelites were fighting about Jesus, right? About who believed in Jesus, who didn't believe in Jesus. That caused fights and the Romans hated that. So they might have gotten it in their head that they hated the Christians because of the problems that they caused, okay? They didn't trust them because they would meet in secret places because the Romans didn't let them meet out in in the open and so maybe they thought that they were traicioneros that they were getting together to go to war against the romans right they also didn't like it that they spoke against the 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 dioses okay the falsos obviamente of the romans the romans had a lot of gods that they believed in just like the greeks and so the christians taught the people that those were not true gods that there was only one true god the jehovah god and so they hated them for that as well. And so after Jesus Christ, there was a huge persecution of the Christians. Okay, we know that because all of the disciples died for their faith, right? All of them were killed except John, who was they tried to kill. But um, remember, Peter got um, put on a cross, but upside down because he said that he was not digno to die like his Savior, Jesus Christ, died. So he said to put him upside down. But all the 10 of the disciples, because there was 11, right, after um, Judas, and then John did not get killed for um, believing in Christianity because he was sent to an island, for his um, for believing in Jesus Christ, they exiled him to an island where he um, wrote the book of Revelation. Okay, after they tried to burn him in oil in Aceite, and it didn't work. Okay, so there was a huge persecution. What's a persecution? Is when they they um, kill or hurt you because of your faith. Okay, so many people were killed, and um, we can, there's a word for being killed for your faith. It's called martyr. I want to say martyr, martyr. Okay. But after a couple hundred years, this, well, first of all, this is happening for a couple hundred years. And honestly, Christianity kept growing and growing and growing because that's the power of God. He kept honoring the people for being willing to even die for Christianity, for people to know more about Jesus Christ. And so God helped Christianity grow and more people know about him and more people know about him and more people become Christians, right? So it started growing and growing and growing. And then even the emperors started supporting Christianity. 
Okay, it used to be illegal. It used to be in contra de la ley antes to be a Christian. So they would have to hide. They'd have to go underneath the ground, literally, okay, and, and um, gather together in what's called catacombs in like prisons underneath the ground to meet together to study the word of God. But then there was a Christian, there was an emperor one time. His name was Constantine. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture in a little bit. Constantine was the emperor of Rome, very, very powerful. And he was going to war one day. And he says that he had a vision. He had a vision. Okay, John had a vision in Revelation, right? Um, the whole book of Revelation, is a, uh, Apocalypse, is a vision that John had. Well, Constantine said that he had a vision that he saw a cross, a cruce in the sky. And he heard a voice tell him that because of that sign, the cross, he was going to win the battle, the battalion that he was going into. And he did win. His All his army won. And he thought, okay, that means that God wants me to believe in Christianity. Then after that, he had a sueño that if he put the sign of Jesus Christ on their um, escudos, their shields, that they would win the next battle. And they did. So Constantine signed a law. It's called the Edict of Milan. Where now Christianity was legal. It was legal. It was supported by the government. Then there was more emperors. He had died. More emperors came. And there was another emperor. His name was Theodosius. Okay, Theodosius. Docias. He also supported Christianity and made it the religion oficial of all the Roman Empire, the re official religion, meaning that the majority of people were Christians inside of the Roman Empire. Okay, so today I want to give you an opportunity, one, to learn about the geography of the Roman Empire. And then also to show you how Christianity grew and grew and grew inside the Roman Empire. Okay, so I'm going to show you the map and I'm going to show you how to label the map. Okay, we're going to be labeling the bodies of water. Okay, we're going to be labeling the um, some of the cities. Not all of them are, are yeah, they're in the same place. It's true. Most, yeah, they're in the same place, we're just going to say. Number three, you're going to find the boundary of the Roman Empire. Okay, exactly what did they control? And then you're going to see where Christianity was in certain years. Okay, so go ahead. We're going to do it. Take out your map. Make sure you have your colors. And I'll show you how to complete your map today. And then I'll help you answer the questions. Okay, so the very first thing you do is I'm going to take a picture of this. Or no, just stop your video. And make sure that you color these things. What are these things? Okay, look at the key. For the red line right here, see this red line, the red line, ooh, the water. They obviously didn't control the water. All the way down here, all the way into Africa. This is Europe. This is Asia. This is Africa. So the Roman Empire was so big, it was in three different countries. Look, it's even up here. Look at this place, okay? It's even up here in England. That's where England is, okay? So, first you draw the red line, that's the boundary, okay? That's the limite of where the Roman Empire was in 476 AD. Remember, AD is Anno Domini, and we're in AD right now. We're in AD, we're in 2021 AD, okay? So this was 1,000, like 600 years ago. This is where the Roman Empire was. Okay, now we don't have empires. Now these are all different countries. But you draw your red line. Then... You put the purple. The purple are the Christian areas. The Christian areas. Um, you can see where it is in the cities, right? Of In 325 AD. So, in 325 AD, Christianity started little bit by little bit going around the Roman Empire. And you can see it, most of it, you guys, is right is by water. You see that? Think about it. Why is it by water? You're going to answer that question later. Most of the Christian colonies 
are where are right by are on the coast. Okay, they're they're right where water was. Why do you think? Okay, then the green is after a hundred, basically a hundred and fifty years. Christianity had spread, you guys, all over the place into the green areas. Okay, even a little outside of the Roman Empire. See here, see here. Okay, but mostly inside the Roman Empire. So then you're going to color that green, and then the rest of the land you're going to color red because those areas were not Christian. Okay, they were not Christian areas, which means, like, that's really sad. A lot of this of England never became Christian areas during the Roman Empire, and either did Africa here. Some, a lot of Africa did not become Christian. Okay, so make sure that you color that stuff. You can stop the video if you need time to do that. And then we're going to label the things that it says to label. The first thing we're going to label is your bodies of water, right? Okay, so your bodies of water. Make sure you follow with me. Are these things in the blue, right? So you're going to write them. The very first thing, I'm going to try to go in order here is the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, here we go. We're gonna move the Atlantic Ocean. That's right here. This body of water is all the Atlantic Ocean. This Atlantic Ocean goes woo, all the way to the left to where we are and to where the United States is, right? The Atlantic Ocean. Okay, the next one they say is the Baltic Sea. Here's the Baltic Sea up here. Okay. Now we put the Black Sea. The Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, you guys, is almost not even a sea. They call it a sea, a mar, because of the size. It's huge. But honestly, it's almost more like a lago, a lake, because it's totally encerrado from water. It has water on all the sides. That's a lake, but because of the size, the tamaño of it, they call it a sea, even though it has land, perdón, land all around it. Did I say water? Land. See how this is the Mediterranean Sea, and it goes to the ocean here, okay, with the strait right here. But the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea has land all around it, so it's almost like a lake. See the Baltic Sea right here? It goes right out to the ocean. But not the Black Sea and the, Medi and the Caspian Sea. Okay, so there's the Caspian Sea. Sorry, I didn't name it when I brought it over. Okay, now the Mediterranean Sea, which we learned last time. So let me see. Do you remember where it is? Oops. Come on. You can do it. The Mediterranean, right here. I really want to go on a, cru a crucero in the Mediterranean. Just saying. Okay, make sure you... Are you repeating those words with me? Mediterranean, so you can learn them, right? Okay, next one. The North Sea. Which, obviously, that means we would suspect it's in the north, which it is, by the Baltic. Okay. Then we have the... Persian Gulf. The Persian Gulf. That's down here. There we go. We have a Gulf by us. The Gulf of Mexico is on our side of the world. And the Red Sea. Okay, we should know all about the Red Sea. Why? Because that sea is in the Bible that Moses crossed down there. Okay? So that's all your bodies of water. Now we're going to label some important countries. Okay, some important countries. And some important cities. And even one continent. Okay, so here we go. The first one is Africa, right? Where is Africa? What continent is Africa. This one down here, you guys. This whole area right here is Africa. 
all the way to the Red Sea and all the way up to the Mediterranean and all the way over to the Atlantic, okay? Then we have Armenia. That was right here at this time. The next one is Britain. Oops, come on. There we go. Okay, the next one is Egypt. What continent is Egypt in? Britain is in Europe, but Egypt is in Africa. Right there. We have Gaul. There you go, where France is now. We have Germania. Which is like Alemania. Now called Germany. Now we have Spain. Where is Spain in our little... Oh, I don't see it. Oh, there they are. Okay, Spain. Right there. Hopefully you guys know that one, right? That's where your language came from. And Syria. Oops. Not a place I'd want to go. It has a lot of fighting. Here's Syria. Okay. Then... We have Alexandria. Now this is one of the Alexandrias. There was a bazillion Alexandrias. This is the most famous one, most powerful one in Egypt. It has a huge library, a biblioteca. There were a lot of Alexandrias when the Greeks um, controlled this area. Because Alexander the Great was the one that controlled the Greeks. So he named like 20 different cities after himself. Antioch is up here by Syria, in Syria. Athens, we know where Athens is, right guys? In Greece. If I'm going too fast, just um, pause the video, okay? Carthage is in Africa, right there. Colossae is where Turkey is now, Turkey. Constantinople, remember that I told you that there was a an emperor named Constantinople that helped the spread of Christianity. There's his city right there that was named after him. He's actually going to be one of the reasons why the, the Roman Empire split in half. They were divided in half. He and another man were fighting for the power, so they divided it in half. Corinth, you know the book the Corinthians? Paul wrote to the church at Corinth. Paul also was the church of Ephesus, which is our next one, and Colossae, because that's Colossians, Colossensis. We definitely know all about Jerusalem, and we know that Jerusalem was part of the um, Roman Empire, because even Jesus lived during the time of the Roman Empire, right? Nazareth is where Jesus was grew up as a boy, right? Born in Bethlehem, raised in Nazareth, went to Jerusalem to die. That's why I wanted to study this this week, so you can see where he grew up and the things that were happening around his life and afterward in the disciples' lives. Philippi is another country that Paul wrote to, another pardon, city of the church of Philippi, the Philippenses. Rome that's where Paul died. He wrote the book of Romans to them. He wasn't in Rome when he wrote the book of Romans. 
if he wanted to go to Rome. And Paul also wrote to Thessalonica. The, the books of First and Second Thessalonians census, right? Okay, so that is our map. Now you can, you can see many different places inside the Roman Empire. Okay? So after we do that, we're going to answer a few questions. Let's do it. Sorry, I forgot I wanted to show you Emperor Constantine. This is the man that wrote the Edict of Milan, making the Christianity legal when it wasn't legal for a very long time after he saw the vision of the cross. And this man right here was Emperor Theodosius that made Christianity the official language of the Roman Empire. Okay, it's not like I'm just gonna give you the answers to these questions, but I'm gonna show you how to get the answers, okay? Look what it says on number five. Use the map to answer the following questions. What cities were located in Christian areas? So now your map should look like this, right? And you need to find all the cities. You have to name all the cities that are inside the Christian areas. So not the gray areas, but the green or purple areas. Any city. So any of the yellow ones. Yellows are the cities. Okay. Black are the countries. Any of the yellow ones that are inside the green or purple, go ahead and list that right there. Now, I want you to answer this opinion question. I was talking to you about it. Why do you think most of the early Christian communities were located by waterways? Okay, why do you think that they were located by the water? Such a good question. I can't tell you the answer. Why do you think they were located by the water? Next one. Did the number of Christians... Increase or decrease? So that means aumentar or get smaller. I don't know what decrease is. Or get smaller, disminuir maybe. Between 325 AD and 476. So did it get bigger or did it get smaller, the number of Christians? Between 325 AD and 476 AD. And how do you know? How do you know if the cantidad got bigger or smaller? Then it says, by 476 AD, what part of the Roman Empire was not Christian? So what part is the gray part here and here? What part is the gray part? Because those are, were not Christian by 476 AD. Then what Roman Empire ended the persecution of Christians with the Edict of Mi Milan? I told you that. Which really helped because look, in 313, that happened. And then 13 years later, Christianity really started spreading. And what em Roman emperor made Christianity the official religion of the empire? Ooh, good question. I told you that one too, so you got to write it down. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Oh, this is a fun class. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how Christianity went around the world, went around the Roman empire. And this is how it happened around the world too, you guys, that there were disciples that helped it. Paul helped it. Then even emperors helped it. And then Christianity would go further and further and further to the United States, to Honduras, to all around the world. Because God was helping it go around the world like he did here in the Roman Empire. And if it can happen in the Roman Empire where they hated the Christians, then it can happen anywhere, right? But we need to tell people about Jesus Christ. Bye guys, have a great day.